Tonight, fire officials are investigating what led to this massive fire at a vacant mill in Lincoln last night. It was breaking news at 10 and 11. The six alarm blaze led to a partial building collapse. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live from the mobile newsroom with the new developments. There are still some hot spots, and you may actually be able to see some smoke rising over my shoulder still coming from this building. But we've learned crews have actually suspended their work for the day. The state fire marshal tells us that's because there's some concern over today's high winds and the possibility of walls falling in. Now, as big as this fire was, we talked with one woman today who says she's very thankful it wasn't worse. When an intense fire tore through this mill in Lincoln, Taylor and Lindsey Gordon watched and waited, hoping the RICO building next door wouldn't go up in flames, too. I'm just hoping they put the fire out if, and it doesn't spread. The girl's grandma, Pat Ryan, owns that 25,000 square foot building next door. She was in Florida but caught the first flight back to Rhode Island. My building is really literally feet from the building that is on fire. And I was have always known that uh, the chances are if that building, which is empty next door, went, my building would be lost too. But Pat says she got lucky and it wasn't lost. Except for a melted sign, you can barely tell there was a raging fire feet away. You can't even smell the smoke. It is so spectacular. They the firemen did such an incredible job. They were on the roof. They were shooting for water everywhere. So we have a little bit of water damage, very little, and the store is perfect. It's just a matter of days and we'll be back into business. It took crews from at least 12 departments more than three hours to get the fire under control Thursday night. Investigators are still searching for a cause. Fire officials tell us the century old former textile mill was vacant. Several agencies have been here on the scene all day long, including the state fire marshal's office and ATF. We're told that this scene will be held overnight and then fire crews will be back to work on those hot spots first thing tomorrow morning. Live with the mobile newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.